There are many diseases out there that are very easy to catch, but most of them have some kind of cure out there. But what if every single one of these diseases was life-threatening? What if your life was in danger from catching something as simple as a cold? Well, this is the case for patients with SCID. It stands for Severe Combined Immunodeficiency. SCID is a genetic disorder that destroys the immune system and makes it so that the body cannot fight off infections. This disease is a result of a mutation in the X chromosome. It affects the SCIDXI that encodes for the protein that is used to build the IL2RG gene. This gene works as a receptor in the plasma membrane of immune cells. Its job is to let the two types of immune cells communicate, T cells and B cells. The T cells, so called because they develop in small organs called the thymus gland, are responsible for warning B cells about the incoming viruses. The B cells, so called because they develop in bone marrow, produce antibodies that fight off viruses. This mutation makes it so that the transport protein is absent from all B cells. Now the T cells message cannot enter. The cells are unable to communicate about invaders and not enough T and B cells are made to fight off the diseases and infections. Because SCID is an X-linked disorder, it is mostly common in males since they only have one X chromosome. So if they have the mutation, they're automatically going to have the disease. A female can be a carrier, but not have the disease if she has an extra good X chromosome. SCID is a recessive disorder. This means that any homozygous or heterozygous dominant individual would not be affected. However, any recessive individual would be affected by the disease, whether male or female. There are basically only two main scenarios where the disease will actually affect the offspring. The first scenario would show a cross between a heterozygous dominant female and a dominant male. In this case, the offspring should come out with a 3 to 1 ratio. By viewing this family pedigree, we can see that the offspring ends up with two females, one being a carrier and two males, one of which being affected. The second scenario would show a cross between a heterozygous dominant female and a recessive male. In this case, the offspring should come out with a one-to-one -one ratio. By viewing this pedigree, we can see that the offspring ends up with one female carrier, one affected female, one normal male, and one affected male. To recap, SCID is an X-linked recessive genetic disorder that destroys the immune system and makes the body extremely vulnerable to infections. Almost nothing is as important to your health as having a healthy and stable immune system.